So you clicked on this video because you want to know everything there is to know about West Des Moines. That's what you're going to get in this video. Everything you need to know about living, eating, sleeping in West Des Moines. My name is Darson Grantham and I'm a real estate agent with Keller Williams. My name is Alex Hager. I'm also a real estate agent with Keller Williams. So whether you want to live in West Des Moines or you don't and you want to look at other cities, we don't care. We don't give a crap. doesn't matter. We want you to know what West Des Moines is like in this video and then overall on the channel, what does it look like to live in Des Moines in general? Being online now, there's so much information. Some of it's good, some of it's bad, but the reality is there's not a lot of information that is on the ground, people locally living in the area, and people that have experience working with others could be in the exact same situation that you are, and we'd love to share that experience with you. All right, I just started thinking. As you start talking, I just started thinking. So as okay. We're on our way to Valley Junction, uh, going down 63rd Street right now. And so the thing about 63rd Street, why it's important is it splits the cities of West Des Moines and Des Moines. And I've, I've seen time and time again, houses on the east side of 63rd Street go for a price point that is significantly more, like thirty to $40,000 more than houses of the same character, same quality, same everything than of houses in West Des Moines or on the other side of 63rd Street. We've made it to Valley Junction. And so again, a recap, Valley Junction is West Des Moines. You're not gonna find Valley Junction on a, uh, like Valley Junction, Iowa. It is actually going to be West Des Moines but Valley Junction actually is the hub and where West Des Moines started. It was a kind of a railroad. The, the community was the railroad system. And there's a cute little like just, I don't know, seven or eight blocks of, of um, shops, built bo boutique shops. There's no chains in the area, which is really, really cool. They do farmer's markets on Thursdays. If you look at uh, the rest of West Des Moines, Valley Junction is kind of its own almost standalone thing. There really isn't anything else in West Des Moines that has the same sort of you know, architecture, age of homes, just the, the kind of historical district that we're walking through right now is pretty much a standalone um, area just to West Des Moines, and that is Valley Junction. And I'm from small town Iowa, so uh, I've, I've been around to all of the small towns and it feels very old town, old small town Iowa feel. And the irony of it is you're still so close to downtown that if you work in downtown Des Moines, um, you're still, what What would you say, in traffic, you're maybe 10 minutes out? I'd say eight so, minutes, yep, eight minutes, minutes down Grand. The boutique area is great. There's very few people that I've ever met that's like, oh, I've been to Valley Junction, hated it. <laughs> Terrible place. Like, it's just not, it's beautiful, it's cool, it's quaint, it's fun. But the thing is, is like, if you're moving to the Valley Junction housing area, like you're probably moving to that place, that the, the houses here, because of the price point. You can still get in the school system the West Des Moines has, but you can do it at the, what would you say, 150, one, yeah, I haven't 250? Seen, I haven't seen too much lower than 150, up to 300, like you, it's, it'd be a nice brick, <laughs> nice big brick house yeah. if you're gonna pay 300 for a house in Valley Junction, but they are here. You're coming to Valley Junction if you really love the quaint area, but you have a pr higher price point. You wanna be close and, and walking distance with a stroller to Valley Junction, but you want you know that, that bigger, nicer, fancier house. You just have to go west about eight, nine blocks, and you have houses that are maybe right off Ashworth, maybe in the kind of Vine Street, and those houses, I mean, you're gonna get a, a more quality house, I would say, probably. Um, and quite frankly, I, I'll, I'll be real honest, a lot of the Valley Junction houses have foundation issues because they've gotten water in the past. Now, it isn't in a flood zone, it isn't something you need to really worry about, but you need to know when you're shopping for houses in Valley Junction, That's true. Like, their basements, most of them that I've seen are, have some pretty big cracks or have been stabilized. And now they can be stabilized correctly. It's totally fine. You just need to pay attention to that. And when you start talking about home renovations, this is definitely an area that there's a lot of investor eyes on. Is that yep. fair, yes, fair to say? Yes, absolutely. Um, and I would be curious to even know like a, a percentage of saying of uh, 20 homes sold this year, you know, eight of them were, were flipped or renovated. It's definitely a, a an it's on the higher end of that. Yes, absolutely. So there you go. Yep. If, if you like the, the feel of Valley Junction, there's definitely also that possibility maybe that you yep. could get a fully renovated home, but you are going to pay for it. Uh, yes, being it's in gonna, an area like this. It's yep. absolutely, it will come for, for a premium or it will go for a premium for sure. Okay, let's go. Good. We're out of here. 
She's on it. You're, hey, you're going director crazy. Kelsey. Doesn't most director, directors need a watch. Directors need a watch. <laughs> so the thing about West Des Moines is as a fantastic variety of your old mom and pop restaurants where, you know, it's been around for 50 plus years and it's just a nostalgic place to go in West Des Moines. And there's also a very good variety of high-end chain, maybe high-end chain, high-end um, Chinese restaurants, uh, sushi restaurants. There is not one food that I would say is known for in West Des Moines. I would say it's kind of a variety. You got pizza, you got pasta, you got steak shops all across the board, um, they're all here. When looking at the, the entire greater Des Moines area, one of the things that tends to draw people in, especially if you're out of state coming here for the first time, is the school systems. So the two, Dowling and Valley, those two separate school systems are the two largest and primary um, educational sort of groups in, in the West Des Moines area. Football is a, is a big thing, again, on this channel, just telling it like it is. Yep. Football is a big thing for both of those schools that tends to pull people into the area. Same with basketball. Your school classes are gonna be probably five, 600 plus uh, students per class. The other thing, there is a high school that is smaller, that is a Christian high school, that's not West Des Moines, but it's darn close. And that's called Des Moines Christian, um, Des Moines Christian Schools. So keep that in mind, like those would be the three that most people, that if you're gonna live in West Des Moines, you're probably gonna go to one of those schools. And one thing too, um, specifically with employers, is when you get a lot of these big financial centers like um, Wells Fargo, they make these giant campuses that are actually pulling people now uh, from downtown Des Moines. So this next neighborhood we go to is called El Dorado. It is, uh, it's just a handful of houses. They're luxurious. They're just south of Jordan Creek Mall. It's one of the most expensive neighborhoods in West Des Moines. It is fantastic. It's just beautiful. What we hear from everyone that is coming to Des Moines from one of the larger metropolitan cities is just affordability. What you can get, price per square foot, amenities um, it's just incredibly affordable i mean if you're not not wanting to live in your car in a commute like des moines is a fantastic place where you can get you know i'd say like a million dollar house in des moines is like there there's not more than a couple right. hundred of them right right like that's unheard of almost so yes the affordability in des moines for that luxurious neighborhood house it is very, very affordable. So Jordan Creek Town Center, that's where we're walking right now. Uh, it's on your kind of western side of West Des Moines. It's not gonna have a ton of living, not, not a ton of houses, but right next to it is a large town like community called Glen Oaks. They're a gated community that frowns upon outsiders coming in. So we can't just go film randomly walking down the street, which is, I think, a pretty cool thing about a, an area. I've had two times in, in my uh, life as, as a realtor where I wasn't allowed to go in, even showing property to a potential buyer. And the fascinating thing about Glen Oaks is the price points, there are some condos in Glen Oaks where you could get a condo for two, three hundred thousand dollars $300,000, yeah. maybe right around that mark. Um, and then you have million plus dollar houses. Some of the most expensive houses in West Des Moines are probably in Glen Oaks. And so you have a very good variety. Uh, um, there's, you know, your four, five, six, seven hundred thousand dollar houses. So if you want a house in Glen Oaks, like there, it's possible at whatever price point you want. You just have to be very pick and you have to not, not be very picky about what you're getting because there is not very many that hit the market. Yeah. If Jordan Creek Town Center is somewhere where you want to be and you want to be close to it, yeah, you can go to Glen Oaks on the south side, but you can also either go to the north or to the east of uh, Jordan Creek Town Center, and you're gonna hit some residential houses that are in the probably three to $500,000 range. Your three bed, two bath, four bed, two bath, um, some finished basements, some not. Probably builds are gonna be around the 2000s or when most of them were built. As you walk around this area, one of the things that comes to my mind is this uh, West Glen area out in West Des Moines has always really rivaled the district in Ankeny. You can tell that both areas, West Glen as well as the district in Ankeny, um, are definitely going for the same feel where you can live there, you could work there, you could play there at the same time. Absolutely. And if nightlife is something that you're looking at, 
and it's very important to you. Like you're gonna, your, your couple options I would say would be downtown or Jordan Creek, like Westland Town Center. The nightlife, the scene, it's fantastic. You'll like, it's something you need to check out. Just left uh, Glen Oaks and right now we're at 50th and Mill Civic. So this is to the east of Jordan Creek Town Center, West Glen, but it is much more affordable than anything to the west of uh, West Glen Town Center. So we're on our way to a JC Park, which is a little neighborhood inside of West Des Moines. So just got to JC Park. And like I mentioned in the car, like JC Park is one of many, many parks, little communities that are in West Des Moines. So whether it's JC Park, doesn't really matter, but it is the type of area is what we're going for in this shoot is it is your community, like no traffic on the roads. The only people that are driving this area are people that are probably living in the area. It's not, there's no through streets and the houses are, I, I would say just maybe above entry level, maybe at entry level, depending on what your price point is. And these homes are that 250 on up and they did cap out probably right around say 325 or so it could be a little bit higher yep and so the houses the housing types in this area you're not going to find very many ranches most of them are going to be two stories so you know three bedrooms up one bathroom up maybe two bathrooms up and then downstairs maybe a bathroom or maybe a bedroom most likely a bathroom so these are these are houses that have been built in probably oh 80s 90s 2000s would be my guess a whole community has sidewalks, so that's something that, you know, if you want the kids playing outside, that's a good thing. First time home buyer uh, specifics that a lot of people tend to look for are, um, depends on where they're coming from, right? As always, as with anything. But a lot of times is that attached garage, could be two car garage, could be three. Most of the homes around here that we're walking past right now um, have been two car attached garages. Yep. They're gonna be, uh, you know, at least three bedrooms. Some of them are gonna have four, kind of depending on the, the, the size and the layout of the house. But another thing that people like about certain areas of West Des Moines that are not new construction, AKA what we're walking through right now, is a lot of them have fenced in backyards that have a, a decent size um, compared to what they have had before, or maybe they didn't have a yard before. So again, we kind of covered everything that you need to know about West Des Moines, the parks, the houses, just living in West Des Moines, what it's gonna look like for you, whether nightlife is your thing, whether family is your thing, whatever you need to know about living in West Des Moines. But West Des Moines is just one of those areas, one of the areas of Des Moines. We don't care where you move. In this channel, we go through everything that you need to know about living in Des Moines, and West Des Moines is just one of those places. So if you're thinking about moving to West Des Moines, give us a call. Like we are the boots on the grounds, we will tell you everything, the good, the bad, the ugly, the things that you don't want to know, the things that you can't search, the things that you need to know about living in the Des Moines area. So if moving to Des Moines is something that is on your radar, is something that is going to happen or anything about moving to Des Moines, reach out. Our email's below, our phone number's below. We're here to help you out.